we have here an Elegoo Saturn resin 3D printer. Talk about some of the specs of it and then we'll get into some of the stuff it comes with and we'll just move on from there. This machine has a 7.55 inch this way, 4.72 inches this way, and a print height of 7.87 inches tall. This thing prints massive prints. I'd like to point out that the resin vat tray is all aluminum and comes off with two quick screws. It's all aluminum. This thing has a double rail for the Z-axis to keep the wobbling down. The LCD screen down here is an 8.9 inch 4K monochrome screen. That's pretty good. It really decreases your print time per layer. Now let's take this off here and give you a quick look on how big that thing is. That thing is just big. Be careful not to let it drop on your screen. And some of the things you get when you get this, you'll get a couple pair of rubber gloves. You definitely need. You get a metal spatula to uh, take stuff off of the build plate. It comes with a rubber or a plastic spatula. I don't use it all that much, but sometimes if you want to break something. This isn't bad. You get a pair of these really cool clippers to help remove some of your sport supports. You get some funnels to funnel out your used resin to put it back in the bottle for storage. You get a bag of tools. You get a couple extra screws for the tanks, some Allen wrenches to change the FEP screen, and this wrench here you will use more than anything. It's what we'll use to level the bill plate. And you also get a build plate leveling card. You actually use this card in the leveling process and it explains how to do it. Let me clean this up a little bit and we'll level this build plate and I'll show you just how easy this thing is to level. Turn the machine on. The power button is in the back. Just turn it on now. Another quick note. The feet down here do screw out, so if you need to level this, maybe your tabletop's not level, like I've got it sitting on this rubber mat, so the feet in the back are screwed out a little bit. Try to get this as level as I can. Now we're going to start leveling. Start by, let's make sure the build plate's nice and tight on there. We'll go ahead and loosen up two screws, and I call this a all bearing system so it's pretty easy you only have two screws to mess with you'll take your included leveling card and just put it up under here in the central position we we'll go to tools manual we'll go home what this is going to do it's going to push this plate all the way down As it's going down, you try to make this sure that this thing is square either way. When it goes down, there we go. We can still move this a little bit if need be. Now, hold it with one hand and tighten these up a little bit. I tighten them up just a little bit like that. I'm going to flip it around to really put a nice snugness to it 
I do each one a little bit at a time until I'm done. Now we're done. It's tight. We're level with the card. The paper doesn't come out. So we are good. We hit the back button. Set Z to zero. Confirm. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to raise this up. Raise it up, uh, I think, 60 millimeters. We're done with the card. We're done with the Allen wrench. Our level is done. Got the vat reinstalled. Got my wing nuts, my nuts tight here for the vat. I've got a G code sliced up and ready to go. One thing to remember on this printer, the SD card goes in the back, or not the back, the side, right here on the right hand side on this particular model. There might be some older ones or some newer ones that may have relocated it, but this one's on the side. Turn it on. It's turning on right there. Grabbing some resin. We're going to pour some resin in here. This bat seems to hold roughly 500 milliliters. It's about a half of a thousand gram bottle. We're going to reinstall this cover. Just sets down on there like that. Go to print, find your file. So I can't get you guys down here a little bit and so you can see that a little bit better. A little bit better lighting for the screen. It does have a picture display of your file. Just click on that, hit print. And when this comes down all the way into the liquid, the resin it is, It'll tell you how much time's remaining on it, like how long this print's going to take. It is a very large print that I've got going. Shows a picture of each layer as it cures it. This print is going to take nine hours and thirty minutes. All right, I just heard the. Uh, Cured resin on the build plate make a pop sound coming off of the FEP sheet. So I know she started good. Well, the print is finally done. Let's see what it did. There it is. It's a 75 millimeter miniature with a decorative base. It turned out beautiful. Can't hardly tell on the camera yet. We'll get it cleaned up and I'll show you the final product. Here is the final project. Nice 75 millimeter miniature. Look at that detail. It printed great. If we can get a closer look at the finished product. Look at all those feather lines. I still have some cleanup to do, but I mean, it got everything. The 
piece of the keys where the miniature fits on there, they printed perfect to fit. No extra swelling or anything. And there you guys go. The Elegoo Saturn. And while I got you here, this big Mandalorian bust was also done on this Saturn. And it turned out great. It was uh, several pieces, but so there was still plenty of room to do the whole volume. It could have done this in one single print, but the file was in several pieces. Look at that. Cloth, all the scars. Elegoo Saturn.